And now we're recording! How Yay! So, I guess this will be my first Let's Play or Junk. Awesome. Everybody uh, does Amnesia, but I frankly don't care because it's a great game. Are you going to introduce me or am I going to sit here? You're going to introduce yourself! Ho -ho. Oh, okay. Hi, I, I, I'm Shadow Reiku. I do my own Let's Plays. Uh, you probably know that since you probably came from my channel. No offense to li pe later peoples when Michelle actually starts getting her subscribers. Yes. yes. I'm going to be gu guest commentating this entire LP yes. with my Moirail. Because we are awesome. By the way, I we shall be awesome. Explorative Blade. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna call her Mish. Is that okay with you, Mish? Yes, it is. Okay. You may also call me Mish, I suppose. Since it's going- No, anyway. Mish is my name for her! She's my Moirail! Never mind! You all been banned! She is my best YouTube friend! Alright. We're going to start a new game, because I've already finished this game once! Okay! Let's scream together until the early hours of the night! I know. I got work at 8 in the morning, too. I don't- I don't work tomorrow, so I can stay up all night with you. Loading forever! Oh shit, I forgot. Don't forget. Something must I forgot to forgotten. write down record time. Shadow hunting me. Sorry? I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London. Time is it. At, at it's 10.53. Oh, that makes it 9.53. I forgot that you're in the past. And you are in the future. With my flying cars. Fuck your flying car. Focus. Hell yeah. My name is. I am Daniel. Wow, I can barely hear Daniel. Is there a way to turn up Daniel but not the game music? That doesn't give an option for it. Oh. Well, screw it. <laughs> it's a hoe. It is. I could probably turn the music up again. Maybe one. I am no. on the ground! No, the music was outrageously loud in the first take, so... I am still on the gr- wait, nope, nope, I'm getting up now. Nope, nope, I'm still on the ground. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, my favorite thing! Rocks! <laughs> oh god! I shall call you Joe. Joe the Rock. Yep. Is this gonna be like that that knight of uh, that suit of armor head that you had last game that you were the determined helmet. to carry with you the whole game? Yeah, the helmet. You were determined to carry that with you the whole game, and it lasted like half through the first chapter. Be nice to him. He is a good rock. It is a good rock. Oh, oh god! No! Ah! Ah! And that's as far as I got, folks. Well, playing my version of Amnesia, that's as far as I got. After that door opened, I hid under a torch and started to cry. Yes, but Michelle is made of thicker stuff. You know what, Yes, Rock? I'm kind of a wuss. That's why I'm playing Pokemon and she's playing this, and I'm just watching it so that I can scream with her. But why would you do that? The wine glass, the wine bottle... Alcoholic beverage bottle didn't do anything to you. Did you just throw your rock in the fire? I put him in fire. the fire because I figured he was a cold rock, okay? <laughs> he needed to be toasty. Michelle, it's not even midnight. We're not allowed to be drunk stupid yet. We can be drunk stupid when it's 6 a.m. Nah. Rock, you suck at opening doors. <laughs> I don't even know what I named him. What did I name him? Joe? Mo? Schmo? I think it was- I think it was Jeff. I don't remember anymore. Oh, well, now you're Jeff the Rock. Jeff the Rock! Okay. Ten. All this pink stuff is making me nervous. I hate pink stuff. <laughs> I can make a sexual joke, but I'm not going to. Uh, no! I am on the floor once more. 
Come on, John. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna pretend that never happened. Huh. Oh, more pink stuff. Alright, Jeff. Oh no, wait, I think that door opening is when I chickened Jeff. out. This is some scary shit, man. I hide you. Or <laughs> you can you can disobey me and not go in there. Damn it. Come here. That's what you get. I gotta keep you safe, <laughs> Jeff. It's for it's for the better of mankind. Seventeen parts later. That cabinet is opened and Jeff is raped and killed by a grunt. Oh, oh. I don't actually know if this let's play will actually last seventeen parts, but oh. it took us like six hours to beat it the last time we played, so what, fifteen minute parts by six hours, that's four I can't map. It's oh eleven o'clock. Go, Jeff, go! <laughs> It's 11 o'clock at night for me. I'm not doing math anymore. I don't know. I figured, like, half an hour is good. So Half hour episodes? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. so 20 minutes know, to half an hour. Let me know when it's, like, 11.30ish your time. Okay. Right? Right. Yeah. Ugh, oh, Jeff, this place is scary. What the fuck was I doing here? Go, We've Jeff, already be been free. recording for five minutes, though, so... You know, why don't we just record until, Wait, like, midnight? Wait, now there's I two rocks! Which one is Jeff? I think the one on the right is Jeff. Come here, Jeff. No, let's just record till midnight my time, and then the old archives. And then I'll go do the thing that I said I was gonna do. And then I'll come back at, like, 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll continue this. And then you can just, like, divide it up later. Because Fraps is gonna divide it up into, like various clips of random length anyway. I don't know why it does that, but it does. I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight, am I? Oh my god! You used to care so easily. No, wait, this is the room with the cockroaches, I think. Yeah, those fucking cockroaches. The cockroaches, tinderbox, uh, <laughs> oh la da 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 da. Was it you, or was it the, the let's play that I watched of uh, no, so someone took a book and was just like repeatedly throwing it at the cockroaches trying to kill one. Oh, and no. never died. No, that that was one you watched, and then you told me, and then I tried doing it, and then I got mad, so I stopped it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is that is what happened. Hey, book. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't need no damn reading material. I thought Slenderman was out the window for a moment, but it was just a pillar. Oh God. Wind. Oh, hey, cool. Lamp. Lantern. Ooh. You missed. No, I did it. <laughs> I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I can, like, run and... I can't take any of these... Hey, Jeff, you're back. Oh, I can't pick you up. You're an asshole. And I don't think that was Jeff. I think you, you threw Jeff somewhere. have hentai open. I should probably close that. More firewood. <laughs> it won't fit, Michelle. I made it fit. You see that? It's in there. <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, hey, broom. Let's go sweet. It's not working! You try so hard, but n all of your efforts are in vain. Sure. Oh my god. Oh hey. Oil. That's stuff that's great, but does not come in many quantities. 19th of August, yep. 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. 
I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. This Alexander Brennenberg seems like a nice guy. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, Ink! The screen share is lagging, so whatever you did that to, you did to the ink, I didn't see it. Did you break that? It was already broken! <laughs> Lies! It was! Okay, I believe you. Like a good Moira. Oh, you... Oh, you piece of shit. I said down, damn it. Yeah. Oh, guys, secret passageway. Oh! <gasps> Cockroaches. Get out of those stupid hissing cockroaches. Oh, that was um that's kind of messed up. Yep. Oh god, this place. I don't like this place. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sector. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies That's what a rose petal do you think? In fact, it lies Jeff, you had babies. the very stone I cannot take Brandenburg. you away from her babies. Plot twist, Jeff's a girl. Oh. Check that out. So fleshy. Don't touch it. Oh. I can touch it if I want. Okay, fine. So I'm looking at the rest of your desktop while you do this, and I have to ask why you have a sticky note that has your boyfriend's name and the word sticky on it. Because it says Nate's sticky note on it. Oh. <laughs> kind of redundant, I know. The, the last... The, the word note was covered up by another note, so it just says Nate's sticky, and I'm like, whoa, what is she not telling me? <laughs> what is There's not a whole lot you don't tell me in graphic detail, but that's not something you told me. It's such a gorgeous face. And it's <laughs> not. <laughs> well, that broken when I got here. I don't know what you're talking about. This face? It was broken too. <laughs> Run before somebody catches me. Tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee. I can't remember. Am I supposed to? Oh, holy shit. Oh shit, I forgot about that. I, I can like barely hear the game for this call, so is that the scream? Yeah. Yeah, there's a screen at some point in here. I never got to it, but I saw my friend Gabby get to it. Are you sure? Laboratory. To the laboratory. Dee Dee, get out of my laboratory! I was just I thinking that! I can't do a Dexter accent. I can't do any accent. Dee. What even accent does Dexter have? I don't know. Dee Dee, get out of my laboratory. No, that's not it. it. I want to take out my fucking oh, there it is. You will be my friend. Your it's it will be your friend. I will name my friend Fran. Fran the Lantern. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's 
The Fran turn. Yes, we shall call it Fran turn. Yes. Oh, hey, Tinderbox. Wait, won't you? Okay. Oh, so, wait, I just had a thought. I just had a think. So, your Explorative Blade account is new. So can you actually upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes right now? Um, uh, I don't know. I'll have to check. Yeah, because you might want to check that before, like, making and saving the first episode to be half an hour. Because Fraps takes a fuck ton amount of time to save. The lack of the chimney to the proper vent fumes from my most recent experiment has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in the storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. What is this? Oh, it's just oil. Yeah, well fuck you too, thing! Fucker. Fucker. You can't get me. You can't get me. Michelle, stop talking the water monster! Don't bite your nipples off. I like my nipples. Then stop taunting the water monster. I'm gonna type that exchange right now in the chat. <laughs> Who puts tender boxes in the oven thingy? Get the fuck out of my way, chair. Nobody loves you. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close to calamine and orpiment. Or given the cuprate bonds them well, this time I will attempt aqua regae instead of aqua fortis, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to any use except as a detergent or get tissues or react especially violently to the solution, and should be handled with greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. That's nice, dude. Tinderbox? Nothing? Nothing? And a thingy! What is this thingy? Oh, it's triggered a flashback. I will return, and if it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraints, where I only crave fair judgment and safe return. You lying bastard. You do not just crave fair judgment or whatever it said. Nothing of interest in here any longer. Are you sure about that? You can still break shit. None <laughs> of these will break. This makes me angry. Then they are disappointments to their families. This is bullshit. I'm leaving. Ed says poof, and Ed says XD face. Oh, I love you, Edie. I'm almost done with my sun kissed. This is all some bullshit. I don't have a drink. I didn't get one. Oh, wait. That is... that is boarded and I cannot go there. <laughs> that is not what I meant. That is also boarded. So I shall not go there either. It's very dark. It's 
supposed to be. Stop being there, circle thingy. Uh, it actually says at the top, not responding. Amnesia, dash, a dark descent, dash, parenthesis, not responding, close parenthesis. Yeah, that'll stop them. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location of these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanar, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. One <gasps> evening, yes! I a passage beneath the deep leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the two we saw, and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from it, the dig should be something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Cats. So now we learn that Danielle was obviously some kind of archaeologist. And these, my good friends- Did friend, you just call him Danielle? Oh, whoops. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it! Daniel- You know what? Daniel is what I meant. You know what? We're so stupid together we shouldn't guess commentate because we just end up being stupid. I don't find a problem with it, though. Nor do I. Just like, this is supposed to be a serious, terrifying game, and we're just laughing about butts. Yep. We haven't actually laughed at butts yet, this this LP. So, <laughs> so but, butts. Butts, butts. <laughs> God, how old are we? Uh, I, I'm 20. I'm 19, and we're laughing about butts. <laughs> Hey, hey, I like your shoelaces. <laughs> that, that's the that's universal Tumblr code. It is! Yeah, for those of you at home who don't know, if you go up to somebody, um, if, if you Tumblr, that is, if you don't Tumblr, then don't worry about this. Um, if you go up to somebody and say, I like your shoelaces, that's, that's like the message saying, I'm from Tumblr. Are you from Tumblr? And then they should respond. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh no! Thirty. I already do it. No, I didn't. Um, Ed, Ed says um, to protect your nipples and help me to continue being awesome. That is grand. Okay, I will tell her. Oh, what a lovely egg like thing. Oh, I accidentally it. <laughs> I, I wasn't watching that because I was replying to Ed, but I just heard the crash and heard you go, oh, and that was great. 
<laughs> I didn't really mean to break it that quickly. Serious. <laughs> and and if anybody notices as I'm playing this game, I kind of like to save my tinder boxes because I'm stupid and I like to use my lantern because it's actually worth two shits. Oh, uh, Michelle, um, Ed throws a big ass apple at us. Apparently she's found an apple that's like as big as her head and she throws it at us. I wouldn't advise it, but you can try. No! <laughs> <laughs> the chair will just get stuck in the window frame. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Give me like five minutes to take in what just happened. <laughs> clearly, it has... Clearly, this chair has the properties of being able to go straight through glass, but just chill on the wooden frame. Well done, chair. Well, well done. 